Chris from the Play and Learning team at Eureka and today I've got one of my favourite science experiments that you can do at home, felt tip chromatography. We have a guide for this on our website that you can use or you can watch this video, follow along and I'll explain some of the science as I go. Now to do this you need a few things. You're going to need some felt tips obviously, uh, you need some kitchen roll cut into strips like this, uh, some clothes pegs and a glass with about this much water in the bottom. Now I love playing with colours. When I've got paints I can mix red and yellow together to create orange, I can mix yellow and blue together to create green, and when they're making felt tips they do exactly the same. They mix together different colour inks to create that final colour. But what if there was a way for you to separate them out again? to find out what colour inks they used to create that felt tip pen? Well, there is. It's a technique called chromatography, and we're going to have a go at it today. Now to do this, you need a felt tip. Um, I'll probably start with black, because black's usually made out of quite a few different colours, so it looks pretty cool. And you need a strip of kitchen roll. And you want to make a spot with your felt tip pen towards the bottom of your kitchen roll, probably about here, leaving a bit of a gap below it. Once you've got that, you want to put it in the water, but when you're doing that, you want to make sure that just the bottom of your kitchen roll touches the water. You don't want it to go in so far that the felt tip's touching the water, otherwise it won't work so well. So you want to pop it in, grab a closed peg so then you can keep it attached. And straight away, you can see something starts to happen. As the water is drawn up through the kitchen roll, it gets to the felt tip spot. And once it does that, it starts to pull some of the ink with it up through the kitchen roll. But different ink travels at different speed through water. Some ink goes faster than others. And that means it starts to separate out. You can start to see the different colours that have made up this felt tip pen. So for this black pen that I've got, there's a bit of pink, it looks like a bit of blue, and maybe a bit of green, all combined together to create that final black colour they were looking for. Now you can experiment with this. You could try it with different colours. See what inks were used to make other colour felt tip pens. Purple's quite a good one as well, usually. Or you could have a go with different brands of felt tip pens if you've got them. Not all companies use the same combination of inks to make a black felt tip pen. Or if you're feeling a little bit creative, you could even put a couple of different spots of different colours on your, on your kitchen roll, put that in and create some of your very own felt tip chromatography art.